We're getting into Oscar season, and even we here at the editorial page love our flicks, popcorns, and Coke. So we took a survey of our colleagues, and we thought we would share with you our picks for the Oscars. My Wall Street Journal editorial page colleague, Saurabh Armari, is here to go through the results. Um, let's start with Best Supporting Actor here, uh, if we can get that up on the screen. We've got Tommy Lee Jones right. in Lincoln. Right. You like this, Saurabh? I'm a fan of Tommy Lee Jones. I wish I had a little envelope, or, <laughs> or maybe you did. <laughs> but, but Lincoln. I mean, look, Lincoln, a historical yeah. movie and an unusual movie in its yeah. depiction. So we'll 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 move on to Best Supporting Actress. And guess what? We've got yet another pick. I think. Envelope, please. Oh, Amy Adams in The Master. Right. Um, poor Sally Field. I, I guess she just didn't cut it for us here at the uh, editorial page. You yeah. you didn't like me. You really didn't like me. It was a really creepy, terrifying performance by, <laughs> by Amy Adams. She, she plays the wife of a, of a, of a cult leader and uh, does, a, does a quite a great job. And I think folks who are used to her in other types of role would be really surprised by the performance that she turns in here. You I'm really, you really, yeah, you really like The Master. I, I, was, I think The Master favorites. should have won everything. Okay, well then we'll move to be the, best, the best actor category. Lots of really big names here, but we're going to go again with Daniel Day-Lewis in Lincoln. Who is a master, who's, a, who's an amazing guy. Uh, who's a classically trained actor. Course, I mean, yep. it's, it's, like it's always gratifying yep. to see a guy who yep. you know, has come through the ranks of theater and up into, into movies, not sort of a one-hit wonder by any stretch. Yep. Let's go to Best Actress. And the winner is, is oh boy, Jessica Chastain in Zero yep. Dark Thirty. We have okay. to talk about this one. Yep. Uh, your take on the movie? I, I mean, I, I have to I have to separate uh, the politics from 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 the entertainment factor and from the cinematic value. But even when I do that, I think aside from the fact that the movie in some ways fit into my own ideological framework, I still thought even if it didn't, it was a, it was a very good movie. It was chilling. It was serious. And, and Jessica Chastain, steely, yeah. uh, unrepentant. Right. Uh, I think Americans, we just love these kinds of, right. you know, nothing will stand in my way kinds of, of characters. Doesn't that's it right. speak to our national character? I think so. And I, th I think that, that it was a female intelligence officer. I think that's really appealing to a lot of people. And, uh, you know, I, th I hope she does well. Okay, yeah. let's move quick to best quickly to best director. And the envelope goes to Steven Spielberg yeah. and Lincoln. Wow, we're really loving Lincoln here on the editorial page. So this was really strange to me that that that, that Link, Lincoln and Spielberg won this one because we ran an entire editorial saying <laughs> why did did uh, did Catherine Bigelow get uh, snubbed for for this for this nomination? It must have been because of the politics. And then when it came time to vote, the editorial page staff picked. Lincoln and Spielberg. So well, we'll you go can't figure. account for the tastes of of others. Yeah, that's true. Last but not least, we've got Best Picture. Uh, lots of great options here. Les Miserables, Lincoln, Zero Dark Thirty, Amour, Life of Pi, Argo. But the Wall Street Journal editorial page staff goes for, drum roll please, Zero Dark Perfect. Thirty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Rob, um, is this simply a political pick by the journal editorial staff or is this movie truly one of the greats? Look, I think any movie where most people know what the ending is, Osama bin Laden dies, and yet still makes people, you know, chew their fingernails, is an effective movie, regardless of how you know how folks feel about enhanced interrogation and and the war on terror. So, but a clear. historically important movie. Will this movie stand 10, 20, 30 years from now? I'd like to think so. I think it's a serious movie. I think it's it's I think it's an important document of the past, you know, decade, the nightmare and then the triumph that at least uh, we experienced in killing Osama bin Laden. I think it has that, that value. Okay, that's yeah. the final word. Yeah. Wall Street Journal editorial page member Soab Armari. Yeah, thank you for having Thanks me. Thanks so much for this going through the Oscar picks with me.